And your test on Monday morning? <laughs> Come early. <laughs> Don't worry about advisory. <laughs> Good luck with that. Yeah. <laughs> but I want to give you guys enough choices so that you at least be able to answer. See, if I give you three questions, you didn't know any of those, you're in trouble. If I gave you six and you know three of the six, there you go. See, I'm here for you. That's a good one uh, because I never thought about it until I guess when I was a graduate student teaching uh, at grad school and that became fun and then I decided that well maybe I'll try this for a while and once you get into it and you had fun it was hard to get out of it so there I am 38 years later still trying one of these days I'll get it right <laughs> one of these days well I try to make it interesting fun um, a lot of humor, um, throw in stories, try to show them that there's something else besides what they've experienced already that might be really neat and interesting. Not that they're going to become astrophysicists or physicists or geologists or whatever, but that they might find some enjoyment out of it. So I try to make it exciting and try to show different things. Don't use a big thick textbook. Don't have to memorize all sorts of terms. So that is a real flow in the class. I hope that's what it comes across as. There's a nice mix of kids. We got really bright kids, we got average kids, we got a little bit below average kids. We got kids with good senses of humor. We had kids that had some experiences, some who haven't. And getting all that together in a small group, you know, but our biggest class is 19, it really makes it feel like a, a community and not that buzzword that's thrown around here a lot. I mean, the community of the classroom. And you guys look at each other as colleagues and peers, and I look at you as somebody who's not sitting there just taking everything, but working with me to figure out what the heck this universe is doing. So that's what's really cool about this place. And that gives me the sense of community. I don't know, I think we have a good time. And I, and I, and I think that that makes a difference. And so even whether you're gonna be a science student or not, I think it's sort of fun. Because it's 10 to minus eight centimeters per angstrom. And you want angstrom, so. Judy Schwebel was a very was a very pretty girl that sat in front of me in one of my classes as a freshman in high school. And I got the mistaken idea that she liked me. And that was cleared up real quickly in a hallway in a bunch of front in front of a bunch of other kids when she said to me very nicely, Frank, where were you all my life? And when are you going back there? And uh, yeah, that's exactly what I thought too. But I should have figured this out because the day before she said I had a face only a mother could love. And I thought that was a compliment because my mom did love me. <laughs> so that's the Judy Schwebel story. That's so sad. <laughs> <laughs> it's just to show you guys that you're not the only ones that have trouble with boys and girlfriends in high school. Even primitives and antiques like me, back in the day, it's the same thing.